Afternoon. This is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. And she's taken off up the hill. Um, she got all excited. I uh, packed my little bag that I carry out when I'm going to work. It's got, you know, two bottles of water and got my music and my speaker in it. And, you know, all the stuff that I keep in the house. Um, now, there's a breeze outside, but it's light enough that I think I'm going to be able to work on the hoop tunnel today. Um... Hey, it's 54 degrees, so, you know, come out here, get to work, see how much I can get done. That's the goal, anyway. I need to go to the workshop, get the tools, get the saw, get the drill, you know, get the staple gun, just everything I think I might need to uh, get the hinges and stuff on the door swapped around. Once that's done, then I can start working with the plastic. So, that's the goal. We'll see how far I get done. Talk to you in a few. I just love it when a day comes together. All right, so I've shortened the door. Um, I've not put the inside handle is on, but I've not put any of the other handles on. Um, mostly because I have to get the plastic on here so it wraps. Does that make sense? Same thing on this side. You can see where I've marked where the hinges go. Because the hinges will, hinges will help keep the plastic down and or sealed when it wraps. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it is. So the hinges are marked there and down there, um, but it's not on yet. Um, my header piece is in here, so the door upper part can't go any farther than this piece of wood, which is awesome. Whew. Um, having said that, I'll end up, and you can kind of see where it's marked, I'll end up sticking a piece here and probably a piece on this side. So if you get a lot of wind pushing up against the plastic, does so that make sense? It doesn't push the door in. Does that make sense? But again, I won't do that until I get the plastic kind of wrapped around. I mean, that way, the whatever piece of wood will probably just be some little scrap piece of wood like that. You know, just something that you take that, put a couple screws in, and the door's not going to go anywhere. Um, whew, having said that, um, when I was doing all my last wood collections, I got another piece, and I'm going to see if it'll fit my back door back there. And that way, I can actually make two doors. Maybe. Um... Anyway, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go see. Um, because if it is, that will adjust how I do the plastic. If it does not fit, then I undo all of my, my clips here. And I pull the plastic forward and I start stapling it down. So I got to go get that. Um, and go from there. Now that's 51 by 51 inches square. So again, I'm just going to walk up with the tape measure. See if it'll work. And then come back down. So that's where I'm at. Door's cute. Oh, when I was shortening the door. The, um, so where are the pieces at? There they are. Um, the top pieces that I cut off. Yeah, this is how much I had to come off. You know, it's not much, probably about a foot. Um, but it was put together with dowels. Um, no, I didn't have dowels, and those are glued in. So instead of using dowels, I, um, used a deck screw. You know, use it in, flatten it. Life is good. All right, talk to you in a few. <sighs> it's craziness. I get so much done, and I don't get far enough. The sun's getting ready to dip behind the mountain. I mean, you can just barely see it through the trees. Whew. So why? This door is done and ready. Does that make sense? The, uh, isn't that cute? Look at my back door. Um, now it's tall enough. It, it was 53 inches instead of 51. So from top to bottom, it was tall enough, but I had to add an extra piece here so I can go ahead and attach to the hinges. And you can see I've got to put some shims in because it's touching at the bottom and not touching at the top. So I got to, you know, put some shims in so it'll set level and then go ahead and put the, uh, the hinges, mark hinges, put, you know, because once the hinges are marked, then I can take this door and the other door and, um, lay the plastic. And again, wrap the plastic around both sets of, uh, yes, both sets of, of door frames. So then you put the hinges on the door and it's, yeah, life is awesome. Um, didn't get that far. I got both door frames in, ready for both doors. Good Lord. Actually, that's a little bit of a fib. I gotta, um, gotta go look at my screws. Um, I didn't have one piece of board long enough to fit this, so I stuck two here. It's not a problem. I've got... 27 gazillion little pieces like that that'll 
fit right here and brace it. Truly not an issue. Does that make sense? Um, I need to connect to this piece as well. Um, and then, so anyway, it's awesome. That's all I can say, because that means I will have both a back door and a front door. So in the heat of the summer, I can um, open up both doors. Um, where does that work or where does that help? Artichoke, as an example, is something I love to eat. And um, they like the heat. Um, if you can get them through a winter, you can have them. Um, I'm going to try in buckets first, just because they like to go tall. And that way I can pull the bucket out in the summertime. You know, kind of pull it out the front door and stick it over here and bring it back in in the wintertime is the thought process. That way it'll be in here and semi-protected. <sighs> but in the summertime, having both doors open, you know, even on early spring days where it's still chilly at night, but it's going to be a warm day, I can come out and open the two doors and let the, let, you know, air flow through. You know, type thing. Um, when it's going to be a, what would be a hot day in here. Anyway. Um, just back door. It's there. I'm going to have a back door. All right. Having said that, I said the sun's going down. I'm going to put that door inside and I'm going to bring this door here inside. Um, I'm going to make sure that I've got my plastic clamped down. I am not going to close it back and put the bricks on it. Um, I'm going to make sure it's clamped down here at the ends. And then this side piece... I would probably just bring it over and clamp it there so it's not going to blow. Um, but let the wind blow through. That way when I come out tomorrow, um, I'm not lifting up the plastic to slide, you know, as much of it towards me at this end. So I can lay it flat on the back end, you know, staple left side, staple right side. Finish fixing that little piece of the upper support back there. And then um, staple down the left, staple down the rights. I'll bring it this way, staple left side, staple right side, and then cut that one where the door is, wrap it in, staple it, um, cut this across the bottom, and then cut the door, wrap it in, and staple it. That way I have the extra longer pieces of plastic um, that I can reuse on mini cold frames, etc. That's the thought process. One step at a time, but I got a lot done today. You know, two doors, well, a door and a door frame, but still it's a lot. All right, I'm out. Got messes to clean up. I'll talk to you later.